Hello, it's Vi. We're checking out Panzer Plagiat. This is a game I have not played before. We're going to give it a play test and see what kind of feedback we can give. Um, it does have the title screen here. It shows Action Tank. Um, I'm not sure. I mean, there's, there's probably some up in the airness to the title here, but uh, I'm not seeing anything past the screen here. Um, the game page just simply says a simple top down shooter inspired by Namco's Battle City, hence the name. My first somewhat polished project. So let's go ahead and try this out. We've got how to play controls, play exit. Um, the tank stopped rotating at some point. That used to spin, but um, go ahead and click on how to play. Uh, the cities are under attack. Defend the buildings from the enemies by shooting them with your own tank. Collect upgrades to become stronger and try to stay alive until all the reinforcements are defeated. If all the buildings are destroyed, then the game is lost and you get back to the title. Looks like we have WASD fire with X. Um, mm, that's very strange. Okay, player two is smooth with JKLI fire with N. All right, alternatively, controller support for both players. I'm going to try grabbing the gamepad. Um, this sounds uncomfortable uh, because the X key is directly below the WASD cluster. So I can't, I can't leave my index finger on the WASD cluster to to do what I need to do there while also using X. I'd have to like move move it back and forth. Um, it seems less than ideal, <clears throat> but it looks like we have player one and player two. I don't know if that's like cooperative. It sounds like it's cooperative. Uh, obviously, I don't have a player two here, but um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the controller see what that's like. I'm just gonna plug that in real quick. It doesn't mention the controls, but it's only, it appears to be only movement and one fire button. All right, so we've got the gamepad. Uh, it does look like it's working in the, the menu here, so that's good. And it's probably just the bottom button. The A button, I'm assuming that's going to be the stuff. So I don't know if the, oh, we got multiplayer off. Looks like the thumbstick isn't working in the menu here. I don't know if it works in game or not. Level one, two, three, and back. Uh, let's go ahead and select. Oh, okay. Where am I? Okay, thumbstick does not work. This got way louder all of a sudden. Let me check these levels. All right, let's turn that way down. So, um, yeah, really common to. Can I pause? Can I hit escape. Okay, escape goes back to the menu. Doesn't look like the uh, the gamepad has that button, but um, yeah. So really common issue is people tend to make the audio in their games way too loud. <laughs> I always I always have to point that out. Um, but hopefully it's okay now. So we got D-pad, we got shooting with the the button there. Um, so yeah, I have I've played a game like this in the past. Unlike uh, you know, like an Atari or something. Like very old school. Looks like it's a little hard to see the bullets on the background here. It might be nice to see. The, oh, you can you can drive in this. Yeah, it might might be nice to see that a little bit better. All right, how long does it take for my bullet to reload here? Now, I I, I guess I shoot anything that that looks like a tank that's not me. I mean, I don't. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot. I don't know what that does. Looks like it's gonna repair me. I don't know if I'm supposed to shoot one one type of tank and not the other and that kind of thing, because this one has the same acid as I do. Okay, well, <laughs> apparently I was supposed to shoot those. Um, so, yeah, it might be nice if the player was differentiated a little bit visually, but that's all right. Um, Some of these tanks seem to take more than one hit. Not sure how that works out. Looks like you can kind of spawn camp a little bit in the corner here, but the guy all the way in the, the, the far corner is kind of running amok. I like the little tread tracks. It's kind of cool. Oop. Can't go in the water. Um, all right, so it would be nice to have some feedback when you take damage. Looks like the only feedback you get is if you look all the way to the right, you can see the little 
Little gears, I believe, is your health meter there, so... It's nice to have some audiovisual feedback when something like that happens. Um, so I'm guessing this is automatically going through the, the levels? Is that what's happening here? It'd be nice if it said, like, you know, what level. Just, like, a little level 1, level 2, whatever, at the start of the game. Something like that. Looks like I picked up... Uh, maybe it's like an upgrade and maybe I do more damage after picking that up. Um, I don't see anything on the screen to indicate any upgrades you might be carrying. I'm just assuming that that's what that is based on the icon. And I don't know what else it would be. Like the only thing I... The only thing that's indicated on the HUD. There's a score and then there's like the gears, which I think is my health. Um, it does say player 2 none, which is... Apparently the, the second player's where the second place health would go. It mentions the number of enemies. They all seem to spawn right around here, so it looks like I, I can kind of spawn camp pretty hard. Makes it a little more trivial. I, I do appreciate how the player moves ever so slightly faster than the enemy, so that helps to not get in these weird situations where the enemies can kind of kite you forever or whatever. Um, looks like we got the ending screen of sorts. Thank you for playing this game. It's just a demonstration. I hope I'll be able to present you a real game eventually, created by Albert Weagle. I don't know. If, I don't know how to pronounce your name, so I apologize. Press fire to get back to the main menu. Um, yeah, so I do wish there's a way to pause. The D key doesn't do it. Um, yeah, I mentioned a few things that are just, you know, general concepts that are that are good to to keep in mind, just about, you know, feedback about various things, whether it's what level you're on or what upgrades you have, if any. I don't uh, maybe even, you know, just tell the player what ha what they picked up, you know, just put like a, a text on the screen like got this or that, got upgrade or, or repaired or whatever, something like that. You know, just information to, to feed the player to keep them... Oh, what's going on in the top right there? Those those things are merged together and they're moving diagonally. That's funny. The collisions. Uh, that was interesting. Apart from that, I think this concept of game, it's, it's a little bit... hard to wrap your head around, like, how do I play this better? Like, what what is the, uh, the area where you can kind of optimize your play? Um, just kind of inherent to this kind of game. I, I, I don't think uh, people still make a lot of games like this probably for that reason because it, maybe it just never had that much you could do to kind of get better and it's sort of like a low skill ceiling sort of deal. I, I assume unless there's you know stuff I don't know about this but I don't really see where it would be <laughs> that you would apply more skill. So um, yeah. That's not so much uh, a criticism as just pointing out something to think about, because I think this, uh, you know, being one of your first games, I think it's a good choice for something like this, because it's it's very approachable in terms of how, how you can make it, and there's also, uh, you know, other games that exist like this that you can kind of base your efforts off of. So, yeah. Um, probably should... Go ahead and wrap up the video. I don't think I'm going to have much more uh, use to, to talk about here. But um, yeah, I mean, it is generally satisfying just because it's very um, kind of pick up and play. You just move around and shoot and there's not really any learning curve to it. So that's kind of cool. Um, you could probably come up with some things that would make it a little more interesting if you wanted to. Like maybe just items you could activate or like um, some way you could... I don't know if there's like a way you can ensure more, more damage. Like a lot of tank games, they have some element where there's there's more armor on different parts. Like maybe if you shoot them in the back, it does more damage than if you shoot them in the front, that kind of thing. Um, 
for all I know could already be the case. I, I, I can't really tell while playing it. I know that sometimes my bullets, like I have to do more than one shot. And I've, I've never been able to tell why. Maybe it is because you shoot them in the front. Well, that time I shot them right in the butt and I still took two shots. So I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe, maybe the ones that are lighter colored only take one shot and the darker colors, colored ones take two or something. But um, yeah, just a, as a general concept, you can find out some some interesting ways to to add little complexities that work in the the realm of um, a skillfulness so the player can by making good choices and applying some sort of skill they can get some kind of a, a benefit um, <clears throat> that's a great way to add you know more interest and and uh, a higher skill ceiling to a game make it more fun so hopefully this video is useful it was um, you know I've, I've played a lot of rough things over the years and, and something this simple and approachable is is a little bit fun to play for at least a couple minutes so um, you got that going for you and let me know if you have any questions and i will see you in the next video